Let's take a look at different DCVs and how we can configure the right kind of DCV that we need for our Automation Studio file. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Directional Control Valves. I went to Pneumatic and Directional Control Valves. Now I'm going to open this up because I have a lot of different options in here. So I'm just going to go for a, a five two way. Now these are all the options I have. If I want to double solenoid DCV, like I'm not finding one here that's just a double solenoid DCV. I mean, there's kind of really close. There's a lot of extra kind of stuff on a lot of these. Where do I get a double solenoid DCV? Here's one that's pretty cool. This is like a, a single solenoid with a spring. You know what, if I just click on directional control valves, a lot of these will be here. Let me just jump through here to see if I can find one. There's a pilot, there's a, there's a single. Again, there is no double solenoid DCV. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this guy. And by the way, that is the same one as we saw here. So I'm gonna grab that, put that over here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this guy. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this component and I can change its properties. Dude, I can do a lot of stuff here. I can put any kind of actuation on either side. I can even change the configuration of the valve. Here we go. So I'm gonna go over here and now I'm gonna go over to technical specifications and over here, I can click on this stuff. So I'm gonna click on this spring, I'm gonna double click on that spring. Now it gives me all of the options. I can put any kind of actuator I want on there. So I'm gonna go for this solenoid. There you go. So I'm gonna click on the solenoid. I'm gonna say, okay. And all of a sudden it's been reconfigured. I'm gonna say, okay. And wait for it, wait for it. Wait, I'm to close this. And there you go. There is a double solenoid DCV. Again, I can click on this and I can go over to all different kinds of specifications. I can even change the configuration of each one of these. It's pretty cool. Actually, that's actually really important. Just give me a heads up. You know, just stick with me for a second. I'm going to go over to my three-way valve. Now, we've got lots of different kinds of three-way valves. Oh, sorry, I'm going to close this. We've got lots of different kinds of three-way valves. We've got that guy. And then let me just look at another one down here. Actually, you know what? These are all centered blocked. All of these are block center. I'm going to click on this. Now, in some cases, we may want to change this. I'm going to double click on that and I have all different kinds of options, all different kinds of options. So I can build any kind of valve I want in Automation Studio. Now, in this case, I'm actually going to want to put springs on here because all of these are spring return. Actually, I've never seen one that isn't in application. Could be, but however it is, if I de-energize this and de-energize this because it's a three position valve. I actually want it to default to the center. Just a little interesting stuff about how to build these things. Um, so there you go. I mean, you can change this to any way you want. And again, if I go over here and I select one of these valves and let's say, you know what, this is a, I'm going to close this. Hold on a second here. Yeah, whatever. Um, now I'm just going to select all and I'm just going to delete that stuff. Uh, wait a second. Here we go. I'm going to throw one of these guys in. Or I'm going to throw maybe one of these guys in. Let me just see. Wait a second. You know what? I'm just looking for a normally normally open. There is no normally open valve in here. Oh, really? That's really weird. What do I do if I want a normally open valve? Well, I can go over here and I'm going to do control H because it's quicker than going right click transformation and rotate right. So there you go. If I click on this guy, I can change what's going on in here. I can change this guy to a normally passing. There we go, normally passing. Now this guy is going to be the return, which I think is over here. We'll see if that works. There you go, yep, that looks good. So I'm just gonna say yes, that's good. Save the changes, absolutely. Here we go, there you go. So this is normally passing and essentially when I energize this, it's going to close the valve. So I just changed the type of valve it is. Again, if I want to turn that into a roller, I can click on this guy. I can make this into a roller. For instance, if I did this, then that would be a limit valve. Oops, oh yeah, I'm gonna close this. So that's a limit valve now, or I can turn that into a push button if I want. I'm just gonna click on this guy and I can go around here and I can look for a push button wherever the push buttons are. Uh, there you go, push button, perfect. Why did I press on it? There you go. Um, and or I, whatever I want. So you can configure these things however you want just by clicking on all of that. So I hope that helped you kind of help design your own valves. Okay, bye.